Hello everybody, welcome back to Astray and welcome to the basement. Now the planetarium was kind of cool, I've actually got a little bit more hope for this game after going through all these white corridors and the very sort of boring and I think I said bland, bland um, areas of the museum. I think bland's probably the right way to explain it. But now we're underground in the museum's basement in the dark, who knows, something could happen. Okay, let's let's explore this area first, shall we? This looks look more like a room, actually. Okay, we have a vent, and we have boxes. Lord knows we have boxes. The entire museum is filled with the damn things. Right, so let's have a look at what is through the vent. I'm hoping it leads somewhere interesting. Okay, it just fell extremely silently. That's good. I'm not trying to be stealthy, but yeah, okay. Hang on a moment, is it... Is it just like, uh... Huh, okay. I think I've gone in a, a kind of circle here. So this is the door I opened, isn't it? This is leading back to the elevator. Okay, so what's through this door, then? More boxes. A couple more doors, though. I'm not holding out too much hope. Probably just empty rooms, but let's have a look, I guess. Box, box. Okay, can we squeeze through? We can. Oh, okay, there's some batteries down here, I guess. Something to find. That's something, I suppose. Even though the batteries throughout most of the game, maybe not here, but most of the game, they seem to be rather pointless. Because uh, they were all kind of like well-lit areas. There's another one over there as well. And of course the, you know, flashlight recharges anyway, so... Hmm, alright, well. I guess I was kind of right, they seem to be pointless. Let's, let's keep going. Oh, hello. Oh, flashlight, right. Oh, fuck, okay. I don't know if that was running or jogging or whatever, but no, he, he doesn't walk all the time. Now. You're having trouble with the door, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> good. Good. That's because you have to uh, pull it instead of push. If it was push, I might be fucked. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to do what I did a minute ago. I'm just going to go round. Might be able to sneak past him. Well, that's kind of cool. I was kind of hoping there to be a threat in this game, and I guess there is one. Kind of. You know, a couple of you guys actually have a theory of, like, who this guy is or, or what he does around here. Maybe he's a curator or, like, a tour guide or I think somebody said he might be an art expert. Maybe. Maybe. I doubt it, but maybe. So, this is the place where the artifact is stored, right? This is where my uncle was going to keep it hidden away. And then he left loads of clues as to where he was hiding it, so it sort of negated the fact altogether. I guess we're going down. Can we get over there? Can we, can we get over there? Might be able to get over there. We can get over there. We're probably not meant to get over here, but um, we can. <laughs> All right, down we go. Down we go. All right, so how many of those monsters are there, or uh, curators are there? I wonder. It's like two or three. So, right, what have we got? Okay, some more of Professor Walker's diary. Fifth of January, nineteen o nine. We've just returned from our expedition. The passage behind the wall is far more vast than first expected. The seemingly small tunnel that we uncovered led to an expansive series of caverns beneath the museum. Much to my dismay, we were unable to progress further tonight. The tunnel leads to a straight drop into the caverns. While the large pool of water at the bottom means it will be possible to get down unharmed, the way back out is a different story. John and Bella have returned to their homes for the night. We'll continue our expedition tomorrow, once we have the necessary supplies. Part of me wants to continue right now, to drop into those caverns and be the first to see the secrets that await us. Alright. Okay, so... Let's have a look. Let's see. Okay, so behind one of the wall is a tunnel that leads to a drop into the caverns. I guess I should check my footing every now and then. But I think we've got to go into this vent right now, yeah? Okay. Um... So, yeah, I haven't seen a crystal quite yet. I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh-huh, that's so weird. Why doesn't that make any sound? It should, right? <laughs> anyway, we have a generator here. Can we get the power back on? That could help. N uh, no, I don't think so. It's, it's either busted or I, I just can't use it for some reason. I guess we're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing. All right. Someone blocked this off with boxes, which isn't really very good, is it? Let's see, what have we got here? More boxes! Cool, blimey. 
Okay, yeah. I, I apologize what I was saying about the batteries earlier because I'm just realizing that I'm kind of relying on them right now. Okay. Okay, this looks promising. Is this the tunnel? No. There we are, batteries here. Brilliant. And there's a little note too. Let's grab one of those. Be careful when transporting the... Oh, the dynamite, yeah. This stuff is particularly sensitive. Even the impact from dropping it could set it off. Just to be safe, we should keep a fair distance from the one carrying it. I wouldn't like to be near them in the event of an unintentional detonation. Well, no one would. Especially him. Alright. Whoa, okay. Some power issues down here. Even with the generator being off, the lights are on in some places. It's weird. Anyway, there is a big-ass hole here. Oh, it used to be a big asshole, I think. I think that might be the tunnel they're referring to. This must be the hole in the wall. Which is, doesn't really make sense because it's like they built the wall into the rock and they just noticed that. Whatever. Yeah. Um, so, let's go back. Let's have a look at those boxes back here because I, I think I could probably get around them. Yeah, I think I can climb again. Whoever was in charge of stacking these things, you're a lemon. You really are. I could have done a better job with my eyes closed. Right, we're going up. We're going. Uh, we're going left. Let's let's go up first. Ah ah. Oh, I see. This is on the other side. Right. So this is blocked off. Right. Okay. Ah. Maybe I could have like. Maybe I could have gone for a shortcut if I just used one of those boxes. Maybe that's why they're there. Hmm. Oh well. Didn't think of that. I suppose. Let's get this open. Alright, boxes, 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 boxes. Not too much else, honestly. Now, this is just sort of taking place at the white walls from above. Endless basements. Endless basement rooms filled with nothing but boxes and occasional batteries. Come on, I need something more than that. I need I need more dangers, more threats. Oh, I don't know. We're going upstairs now, I guess it could get better, who knows? More pipes. Is that the dynamite? That, that looks like it's the dynamite. And I picked up the dynamite. Okay, well, this is where I don't want to drop it. Of course, you could have made that a challenge in and itself if I didn't just instantly pick it up, but I was actually holding it and I had to move it like I would a box as a physics object. And I couldn't let it touch anything. There, we have something to do. Now I've just got to walk back and climb over the boxes, I guess. Because I'm assuming the dynamite has probably got to blow up that wall. Uh, you know, the, the sort of like rocky outcrop where the tunnel was blocked. Because I think we've got to follow in my uh, my uncle's footsteps and make all the same mistakes he did. Although I don't really particularly care for uh, the, the dropping into the cavern bit. Which way was it? This way? This way, okay. Oh, there you go, there you go. That's where I've got to put it. Thank you very much, game. Uh, do I have a lighter? Or anything? Do I click it again? What do I do? Uh, fire. I need fire. Oh. I was gonna say, uh, maybe I could drop it, but of course, you know, I can't drop it. I'll just put it in place. Um. I guess I'll take another one of those. Or. Can I throw these? I can throw these. Okay, okay. Well, let's see how good my aiming is, I guess. Ooh, right, okay. Not bad, not bad. Well, that's right, we're going through. Now, this is where I have to watch my footing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to particularly drop into a cavern that I can't escape from. Or, like, maybe that is the, uh... Maybe that's the only thing I can do. It's getting a bit tight and narrow in here. Oh, ah! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, okay. I was forced into it. I was forced into it, but okay. Well, it was safe. I'm still alive. What the hell is all this shit down here? Are they mushrooms? What the hell is that light? No idea. I, that just might be a, a, a light of some sort. I don't know. Let's get to the surface so I don't drown. There we go. Glowing mushrooms. Is a friggin' bonfire? A, a still lit bonfire? I'm sorry. Have we gone into Terraria now? <laughs> we haven't... Are we, ex are we going to find someone, like, mining through the wall, trying to look for, uh, for iron, by any chance? Yeah, Dev, that's what it reminds me of. Okay, but the scenery's changed, I guess. You know, this, this game does keep it interesting for me. Just because I'm starting to tire of the basement, you go somewhere new. 
It is vast, isn't it? You did say it was a vast cavern. Jeez, okay. So, who's keeping these bonfires alight? That's what I'm wondering. Who's keeping these torches lit? Another question you're not really meant to ask. So we've got this blocking our path, this, uh, this portcullis type thing. Can we get this out of the way? Can it, can it go up? Can we take a torch? That might help. Uh, no. Okay. Can we, can we, like, take a mushroom or anything like that? Maybe get some health up? I'm really thinking of Terraria right now. Can we squeeze round? Nope. Invisible barrier for some reason. Alright. Well, I guess I don't really need a flashlight right now. So, so did my uncle actually make it down here or not? I guess at some point, yeah. And he, he blocked the hole back up. Maybe. I'm not sure. What the fuck is this? Whoa, okay, we've got some, like, runes here. This is kind of cool. Are these, like, um... This is where someone's buried? These tombs? Maybe. Whoa, hello! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one caught me off guard a little bit, to be honest. I thought I heard the breathing, and then... Uh, oh, obviously I did. So, right. I don't have a door to smash in his face this time. How am I... Oh, okay. I can outrun him. Yeah, he just goes at a jog. I go at, like, a full sprint. So, yeah. Alright, now I need to go around you, though, don't I? Kind of buggered myself. Oh, there you are. Okay. Can I, can I sneak around you, maybe? Damn, Stretch Armstrong, get out of the way. Actually, you know what? Oi, you. Come on. Whoop, whoop, there we go. Keep following, keep following me, keep following me. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. Yep. Follow the light. Follow the light. I wonder if you can swim. Yeah, I wonder if you can swim. Let's, let's test that out, shall we? Here we go. I bet he can. You can probably run through it, actually. Oh. Uh. Oh my god, he actually sort of can! <laughs> okay, he actually might be able to swim faster than I can, so I might be buggered here. Oh god, jump, 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 jump. Okay, alright, now I actually genuinely want to lose him. I'm not going to be able to, am I? I might just be like, forced to sprint through this entire area. Shit, okay. Alright, you've lost the line, of, the line of sight, surely. Surely. Fucking hell, okay, okay. So yeah, runes, tomb, maybe, yep. Skulls, the same skulls that I saw in Demonology. This is where you got them? Maybe the giants live down here, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Maybe like half of Demonology was filled from pieces from this cavern. That's a door. No, this is, this is all right, actually. I wonder when this is, uh... And this is all built. It looks kind of old, and yet new. If that makes any sense. It looks like it's been here for a very, very long time, but it does look shiny. And everything, you know? I just don't know who's, who's keeping these bonfires lit. And why are there so many of them? And so many mushrooms as well. Right. Well. Uh, we might have a problem here. How do we get around this? I have a rock. Can we break it? Nope. And again, no sounds with the rocks. Very strange. Maybe that's just something to do with the engine. I don't know. Um, what is this? Oh. Okay. Is it like a pressure pad? It is Terraria. Wait. Uh, uh, the rock. I'll use a rock or a combination of rocks, maybe? No, nope, one will do. One will do. Okay. There we go. Right, and now we're into another area. With fucking boxes. Why are there boxes down here of all places? Why did you decide to put boxes down here? Whatever. Okay, this is a bit different. It's Bella's journal now. From the 6th of January, 1909. My mind is playing tricks on me. Over the last day that we've been down in this dank pit, I've been seeing things that weren't there. Doorways where there are none. Strange, shadowy apparitions. I've even seen John at the end of a narrow corridor, knowing full well that he was in front of me as we made our way deeper into the caverns. This darkness is suffocating. The cold confines of these stone corridors are not what I had expected of this adventure. I'm very much regretting my decision to come along. I'm not sure how much of this, uh, how much more of this I can take. Hmm. 
You see, as I as I keep going through these caverns, I'm expecting to find bodies. Because they probably didn't make it out of here. I don't think I'm making it out of here, realistically. I mean, I don't think I packed my grappling hook or anything, you know, when I when I came here. Probably don't even have a coil of rope or anything at all. So. so we've got boxes down here as well. Not ancient boxes, but boxes that look like the ones from the museum. So somebody brought boxes down here. What? Because this is storage space? I guess. It's not very practical, though. And there's loads of room upstairs, as we already know all too well. Where's the pressure pad? There's got to be a pressure pad. Uh, I was thinking maybe under the box, but that wouldn't make much sense. And holy shit, physics. Or, or we use the boxes to create some stairs and just get around that way. Yeah? Is that what I'm meant to do? More physics puzzles? Why not? Wait. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll use that window instead. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Up we go. Up we go. There we go. Let's give myself a little bit of a lip to stand on. Maybe that'll work. Oh, yep, yeah, just about. Hey, man-sized. I like it. Brilliant. All right, we're down. I assume that was the way you meant to do it? Yeah, probably. Probably. Okay, so we got another one. There's so many of these trellises. What's this, though? Ah, do we need, like, a crank or a valve or something? Or a, or a cog? Have we got to find a cog? Something like that. Something's obviously meant to go on this. Okay. Uh, let's just explore, I guess. Can we go down there? We oh, come on! Your eyesight seems to be improving. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, where am I going to go now? Oh, fuck. Please don't be... Okay, it's not a cliff. It's not a cliff. I'm just sort of running around the outside of the room, hoping I'll lose him. It's probably not going to happen. Okay. All right, all right, so... Oh, you're over there, you're over there, okay. Um, well, now I'm down here, let's have a look, shall we? What's this? It's it's a rock. And these are mushrooms. Not cogs. There's got to be something down here. Oh, there, there it is. It's a cog. It's a cog. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to go sneakily back up the hill. If I can. No, I can't. Oh, shit. I'm in a bit of a sticky situation. Thing is, I don't actually know what happens if he does catch up to me. He might just want to say hi. I don't blame him. Probably the first person we've seen he's seen in uh, quite a while. Yeah. All right, looking good. Let's keep going. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Maybe it's just the one, right? Is it big enough? Apparently it is. Okay. Okay. So you don't, you just need to put it on. You don't need to, to spin it at all, which is kind of weird. But oh, fine, fine, fine. There are many little things with this game which don't make any sense. Many, many, many things. But I, I bloody knew it. I bloody knew it. Wait, this is just water though, isn't it? I'm not dying. Despite the red outline of the screen. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I want to swim down there, really. Can I just jump out? Oh, I'm actually having trouble. Oh, wait, I can jump. Oh, come on. Okay, I, I, I guess I'm swimming. Right, where are we going? Does this help? Oh, fuck. Um, we are not going to drown here. We're going to go this way, I guess. Okay, uh, this is like an underwater cavern, I guess. This is kind of cool. Can we hurry this up? Ah, ah. Come on, breath, breath, breathe. There we go, okay. I guess that was meant to happen all along. Right. Good, 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 good. What the fuck? This place is huge. So, is, do you think this is where, like, the crystal originally came from? I'm thinking probably yes. Because it sort of... Didn't it, like, vibrate or something, he said? In one of the notes, it vibrated. Uh, as he got closer to when he was, like, walking through the tunnel near the cavern. This is just the... Yeah, it's just the other side of where I dropped in. Fine, okay. That wood is holding up that, like, tomb, that stone tomb. I'm impressed. That is some strong wood. I mean, that isn't Prit Stick holding that up. Alright, can we, uh, can we go, th can we go through? We can go through, it looks like. Yeah, okay, cool. Crossing over the, uh, the ancient bridge. <laughs> I guess.
Gotta say, this isn't the game I uh, thought it was going to be. Yeah, in both a good and a bad way. Because I like getting surprised. But then, you know, it depends what the surprise is. <laughs> what the hell is this? Is it like runes or something? Oh, I, I can use it! I, I can read it? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Okay, whatever. The creature defies description. Cool. It is a being sim uh, seemingly composed of the void itself. While we know nothing of its origins, its methods have been made clear. Corruption, insanity, and illusion are its weapons, and it wields them masterfully. This creature is not something that can be fought. Perhaps, though, there is still hope. The high priest believe the high priest. Where'd the high priest come from? The high priest believes that he can forge a prison. A large crystal, the the remnants of the creature's original bindings can be manipulated to once again ensnare the beast and prevent its corruption from spreading further through our world. In our arrogance, we have unleashed this evil. We thought ourselves the best, the most advanced of the, all the sentient beings. But now, our mistake may cause the destruction of all the civilizations we have looked down upon. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds like Lovecraftian, which is always a plus in my book, really. But here we are. We are... Uh, I was going to say we might have a problem here. Do we have, uh, we have boxes? Right, I think we're going over this one, just like I did uh, a moment ago. But yeah, I mean, there wasn't actually a note on it. How am I reading that? Do I have, like, a, a history of... Uh, uh, of ancient writing, uh, am I a professor of ancient writings or something like that? Because that doesn't make God any goddamn sense. <laughs> but then none of this does really. And there we go. We've made it. We've made it over. I may have just skipped another puzzle. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure at this point. Oh my God! Wow! Wow! This is a big room. This is a big cavern. <laughs> Alright, uh, how long have I been playing? Quite a while. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. We're going to go across this rickety bridge and try not to die next time. See you then. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that one caught me off guard a little bit, to be honest. Here we go. I bet he can. He can probably run through it, actually. Oh. Uh... Oh my god, he actually sort of can! <laughs> can we go down there? We oh, come on! Your eyesight seems to be improving. Oh, I, I can use it. I, I can read it?